hardening and abnormally hard spot or places called an induration. Metaplasia is conversion of cells to a form that's not normal. Um, so for example, the word metaplasia, you can take normal cells and then convert it to cancerous cells, and that's called metaplasia. A polyp is a tumor attached by a thin stalk. You must, you know, I'm sure you've heard of intestinal polyps, mm -hmm. right? Where they go in with an endoscope and they see these little uh, growths or tumors attached by a thin stalk. They could be benign or they could be they could be benign polyps or mm -hmm. cancerous polyps. The word purulent means to form in pus. It's a fancy way of saying the formation of pus. And separation means pus forming. Okay. Uh, abbreviations, I'm sorry, question? Yeah, pure, pure There are certain terms, there are certain terms we have, and I'm just talking in general, certain terms that are very fancy for saying something that's relatively simple. So if you say pussy, you can say pearl instead. Right? So if you say pearl, that means pussy or separation. Is pus forming. They're actually synonymous terms. Those two terms, purulent and separation, are actually synonymous terms. Okay. Uh, abbreviations that you would find, for example, on a patient's chart, AF, CAs, cancer. Many times, physicians, you'll hear physicians talk, and they'll talk about CA of the lung, CA of the, of the, of, uh, the breast, breast CA or lung CA. That's breast cancer or, or lung cancer, right? CIS, carcinoma in situ. The carcinoma or the cancer situated in that particular spot. FUO, fever of unknown origin, okay? Uh, GM positive, gram positive, GM negative is gram negative. Uh, this is a common one, MRSA, right? Every, how many of you have never heard of MRSA, right? That's methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Right? All the time you see this in hospitals, MRSA infection. Okay, again, nosocomial. This is an example of a nosocomial infection. It's a MRSA infection. Yeah. Why do they call it a cancer? 